Hi, and welcome back to Moon Cusser Art. This is just gonna be a quick little video. I've gotten questions in the past about how I prep my finished painting. So this is the one I just finished up. This is Octopus's Garden, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. This is done in layers of resin. Uh, the octopus was actually done in a mold. I hand created these little fishes and the eel out of resin. And I also did some creation with resin on these um, jellyfish and then did embellishments with paints and inks. So it's a really cool thing. Um, really happy with it. And anyway, it's going to get ready to go up on the wall. So I'm going to show you my process on doing that. Before I do my final clear coat, I always sign my work. So it's got my signature underneath a layer of resin and that protects it and keeps it there. Uh, I like to use the um, Craftsmart, their oil-based markers and they're really good at staying in place. They dry quickly and you can go over top of them with resin and it's perfectly fine. So let's get going on making this ready for hanging on the wall. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna need to turn this over. So I do not want to damage my resin surface in any way. It's in really great shape. Um, I don't know probably can't show you because my lighting isn't going to be good enough in here, but I have, I left some bubbles in my resin and that was to create effects. There's a few more up in this area, but you know, it's an underwater scene. Anyway, I need to put this on top of a surface that's not going to damage my resin. And I use these when I'm shipping. I get these at the U-Haul store. These are packing for dishes. And it's a really nice, soft, thin foam. And it's not going to mark up All right. resin. So even putting it on paper can mark it up. So let's get that set on here. And protect it from my tabletop. And what I like to do, I'm going to use my drill and I use these D-rings. So uh, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them on walmart.com, um, you can get them at the hardware store. So these are D-rings. These are uh, rated for 10 pounds each. So they can each hold 10 pounds. This piece is weighing in at about 12 to 14 pounds. So I'm gonna be using two, one on each side. So that's gonna be a combined of 20 pounds. And these come with their own screws. So each one has a screw. And I also like to use, this is a vinyl coated wire. Um, if you've worked with picture wire in the past, it was never vinyl coated. And let me tell you, this is a game changer. I used to get stabbed all the time and would be, you know, terrible from the wire. But having that vinyl coating, it just makes it so much easier to work with. So again, this one is rated for 20 pounds. So that's perfect. All right, so let's get my drill set up here. What I do is with the screws that are gonna be going into my cradle for my canvas, I pick out, this is a hmm, three 30 seconds drill. And basically how I figure out what size I need, I take the screw and I put it over top of the, the drill piece because it doesn't tell me on my packaging. I want it to be just slightly smaller than the shaft of the screw. That way the, um, f you know, the flare of the screw is going to bite into the wood again and it's not going to pull back out. So I pick a drill bit that's a little bit smaller. I get that set up in my drill here. Just 
like that. And I need to measure where I'm going to be making my drill holes. So I usually, I put my I measure right along my wood piece and I want to give it a drop. So I'm going to give it at five inches and I just make a little mark on each side at five inches from the top of my wood cradle. There we go. And then I'm just going to take my drill and I'm going to make, well I should really, because I don't want it to be, you know, too far. I don't want anybody to see it. So this is in a good spot here. So it's not, it's not in the center. It's kind of closer here. And it's locked. And you don't have to go real deep because these screws are not very deep. And same thing on this side. Here's my mark. Come in right about there. Just like that. Take my drill bit out. Now I have to put my bit in for screwing the screws down in there. And just get my screw loaded up. like that. Okay. Easy. Now I'm going to measure how much wire I need. I always give myself a little bit extra each side. When you buy, this is a spool of hmm, 1,125 feet. I got lots. <laughs> but it's, you know, I, I use it all the time. So it's a really good bargain price. So let me get some pliers. And I'm just going to cut my wire at my length and of course it's not the sharpest set of pliers there we go that's done and then i'm gonna just take my wire and i come up from the bottom and then I go behind and then I bring it back up and then I go back to the bottom again. Now I'm going to twist that over and then I go back so I've just wrapped it around and now I'm going back over top of that wrap towards the D-ring. And what that actually does is it locks that wire into place. And I've never had one of my wires pull loose. So you can see I'm tugging on it. It's really nice and tight. So let's do this side again. Coming from the bottom, I come up. I want to kind of get where I'm going to be. That's a nice space. I usually hang my pictures on the wall with two so that I can balance it nicely. So once the wire stretches, it's right about there. The general rule of thumb is to have a three inch to a four inch drop from the top of your piece. That's just a, just a rough guesstimate right so again so I'm going I came up from the bottom 
Now I'm going around behind my wire, back over, and down through the D-ring. And then I'm just going to start doing my wrap again. And by doing this wrap, and especially by using these vinyl coated picture wires, again, I'm saving my hands, but I like to give a little bit extra so that you know, whoever gets the piece, maybe they go to hang it on their wall and they do some measurements and they're not quite happy with the height. If they want, instead of putting more holes in their wall, they can adjust the wire off of the back and then they can move how the picture hangs a little bit. So there's plenty there for them to work with that. I'm going to get a different set of pliers because those are dull. My husband likes to use things for other purposes. And then this one, I believe these are sharp. We'll see. Oh, look at that. See how nice? <laughs> so there's my wires. Okay. And then it's got that. And that's it. That's as easy as it has to be. I also, one of the things I do with my pieces is I like to label them on the back and I make certificates of authenticity for my work as well. So now this beauty is ready to go up on a wall. And that's it. That's all we got for today. Hope that helps you guys. We'll see you next time here on Moon Cusser Art. And please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Moon Cusser Art so you can see our next video.